It's been a contentious issue here in San Diego since it was proposed. Drivers could be taxed for every mile they drive. And new tonight, Escondido City leaders voted to oppose Sandag's idea. Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen is live in Escondido with more on what this decision means. Kelsey. Well, after much discussion, many council members argue that they really haven't seen enough of this plan to support it. Their decision tonight tells Sandag they don't agree. Taxes need to be voted on by the voters. In a split three to two vote, the Escondido City Council approved a resolution to oppose Sandeg's proposal to tax drivers per mile. To fund an ambitious 30 year $160 billion proposal, which would include no cost public transportation and a 200 mile long regional rail network. Drivers would pay four cents per mile. Public transportation would be paid for on the back of those who drive and don't use public transportation. The roads themselves, again, the revenues are, are de declining. I mean, it, it, we're giving a pass to uh, electric vehicles and we need to, uh, and, and again, Nothing is set in stone. The idea is controversial among San Diegans, but public comment at Wednesday's Escondido City Council meeting was opposed to San Diego's mile tax plan. We really need to look at a more equitable way to do it. It's not at road use charges or not a tax, they're a user fee. And now that Escondido has officially stamped their disapproval on San Diego's proposal, the next step is for San Diego to take up its idea next month with consideration to how different nearby cities view it. So again, really this proposal by Sandy could still happen. It just depends how they vote. It's important to note that the Escondido mayor also sits on the Sandy board. Sandy will vote on this proposal on December 10th, and it's still unclear how this mild tax would be implemented. Reporting live from Escondido, Kelsey Christensen, Fox 5 News. And it appears to be a hard sell. Thank you so much, our Kelsey Christensen tonight.